Hey guys, Andrew Piotrowski from Endearment.com and today I have the Mustang Survival High Water 22 liter day pack. So this is really a backpack dry bag hybrid and really serves both purposes. It's really wet right now because I just came off of the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, I was out on my paddle board uh, going, a couple, going around seeing a couple of the different islands and actually stopped at one island to have lunch. Um, but it's fall here in Maryland, it's getting cold, it's getting really windy, so the waves are kind of pretty rough out there. This thing was completely sunk at one point just from waves coming over the paddleboard. And then actually when I was getting onto the island, I, I jumped off the board a little early and got the pack completely submerged. So overall today I want to take you through just some of the features of the pack and what I really like about it. Um, I'll actually start just from the back side here. So you can see it's, a, it's the standard dry bag, roll top dry bag. But then you have this mesh pocket on the outside and there's actually it's divided into three pockets, one big one and two side ones. I really like this because what I do is I put it on the front of my paddle board and I can put my water bottle, uh, my rain jacket in there and it allows me to easily get in and out of that pocket and get those items. Um, going to the back side here, or I guess maybe just the front side, we have these backpack straps that are padded, which make carrying this really comfortable. Um, there's a sternum strap here, which helps you just kind of, just, you know, balance the load if you have it loaded up pretty heavy. And there's also a nice whistle on here, which is always helpful and good to have. Um, up here, I really like this grab handle. One, it allowed me, like when I was taking this bag on the canoe trip, allowed me to like, lower it off the dock into the canoe really easy. But it also allows you to hang the, the pack up just to let it dry out. If, you know, these pads, they, they do get wet, but they dry really fast. Um, one thing I really like about this is that it allows you to put all your, your gear in here, put it on your back, and have a free hand then to you know go down to the dock or launch different things. So in the past, I've used uh, some of these roll top dry bags that don't have any handles, and I'm you know I'm balancing carrying my board, my life jacket, my paddle board, and all my gear is kind of just like hard to carry because it's I'm holding on to all of it. So at the ramp down, down here by the bay, it's really steep. And what I have to do is I usually put all my gear up top, launch the boat, and then come up and get the gear. This changes all that. You can put everything you need in the pack, put it on your back, walk right down when you launch the board, take it off your back, and just strap it right to the paddle board or the kayak. It just gives you a free hand, which is super helpful. Um, so up top here, one feature I really like is how this bag closes. So, it rolls up, and you have a couple different options. I don't know if you can see it here in the video, but there's two buckles on this side. What that allows you to do is roll it this way and buckle it up top above the pack, or the other buckle, you can basically take it how I had it before, roll it down, and buckle it in the sides here. And I think it's really just well, depends on what you're looking to do. For me, when I load this pack up pretty heavy, I, I clip it up here just to give me some extra space. But when I don't, I roll it down really, really tight and clip it here. Um, so as you can see, let me move this. As you can see, everything in here that I had today is completely dry. There's no moisture or water inside the pack whatsoever. And I'll just pull out some of the items. So today I had my dry suit. I actually didn't put this on, I just had it as a backup, it is 100% dry. And then I have my leash that I just stuck in here in case things got pretty rough out there, I usually wear one of these. Um, just a spare rope I use when I'm docking. My medical kit. But one thing I think is really cool is, I went out to the island today and I wanted to kind of sit and have lunch. So I brought one of these camp chairs, which actually fits perfectly in this bag. Uh, which made lunch really enjoyable and I wasn't sitting in the sand. And then at the bottom here, I just have my um, and my phone, it's here, completely dry, and then my changing poncho. So it's a lot of gear, and, it, and that's only probably three quarters away um, uh, filled. You could fill this thing up even more if you wanted to. I mean, for me, I look forward to taking this on some canoe trips, some overnighters where maybe you're parking the canoe down by the water, and it's loaded down and you don't want to take it up to your campsite. You can put all your personal gear in here, whether it's your tent or you know, your clothing, put it on your back and then you go up to the campsite. So overall, this pack does 100% what it's built to do and keep things dry, 
but also has some really cool features to free up your hands and make carrying things really easy. I, I really recommend checking it out at Mustang Survival.